Okay, let's carry on with some tags then. Um, I'm really liking this colour palette actually. The change. All right. I love the way this has come out. <laughs> so pleased with that. Um, right. Yeah, I oh, need to ink up some things, I think. I think I'll leave the stamp in for a minute. So I don't know which way. Sorry, folks. I have no idea. Um, yep, yeah, let go for that, I think. I want something poking out the top, so let's get leave that up there. Yep. And a bit of black stitching around that and that will be good. So leave that one as that and then I'll trim off after. That's that one and then let's do another one. That one will need a little bit more work on, a bit of something. Not sure what yet, but I'm going to stitch around those first and then come back. Okay, that's those done there. And I'm going to have to put something here. And yeah, I'm feeling a bit of something there as well, like a number or something. Haven't got anything small enough, so these will do. So I will cut these out. I'm hoping I haven't stuck down properly. Might be able to get that in. Okay, I'm liking that. Just ink up around the edges. All right, let's have a look. Um, I'm quite liking that red there, so. Because you've got the base of the flower just floating there, so if I hide that, no, that's fine. Okay, all right, I'm gonna ink up first. Not too much because I'm actually liking the way it's looking. So, literally just around. Let's trim them off. Some I leave, so like these I think I'll trim off a little bit neater. Okay. 
and that lends itself to maybe some words down there or something. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I don't know what I've got there. Oh, I know what I have got. That might work. My old faithful. Um, yeah, I'll see. Put that there, though. Yep, that's it. So I've got my iPad plugged in because the battery was running low. I forgot to charge it, so I have to be careful with the lead there. Oops, sorry, folks. I don't know if I can get that back in. Ooh, I'm scared. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Got a bit of a shadow, actually. Yeah, I might have to sort that out. I can stop in the daylight coming in. I can see a shadow. Right. So either put grommets in, which I think I will, because these are looking nice. Do the bows. Thread that through and then do a bow with you. I think that will look really nice. I just got to get some so i've got a big piece like this and i take off the threads <laughs> so a few of those I'll just pull it down a little bit and then do another knot. No, then a little bow. It's quite fine, this one. Do the other one like that. Yeah, that one's done as well. Okay. So I've done those four out of that. And done, you know, different one to the smaller one to go in my journal. Those are all fit in my journal because I cut them down a bit. And the bits that I have left, I think they're in here somewhere. We'll make something out of those, I think. Yeah, that's the ones I cut off. That's the other ones that I cut down a bit. But I'm liking those. So I think we'll stay with similar palette and everything. But look at the, the texture on that. And that was just emulsion paint. That is really good. Really nice. Like I say, you know, emulsion paint... Um, emulsion. Emulsion paint covers better than gesso. But gesso is... The, the one that I use just to send things into the background. All right, but we wanted to cover most of the pattern of that that was in the background. I'm really, really liking that. Okay, nice. Right, and I'm going to do something with these. Right. Again, I just put a bit of paper over the top and a grommet. And usually that looks quite good, so you can, if you want to keep it in with what you're doing, it's a bit of scrap paper. Yeah, I do tend to cut the line straight ish. them down like that it might be a 
bit much. Good guess, wasn't it? <laughs> Usually I trim off the sides. <laughs> Which I will do a bit, a little bit over there. Okay, just a little bit too long. And these look good when they're all to, you know, when you've got a little tuck spot or something like that and you've got that there with a bit of string or a bit of jute coming out the top. That's not very much. Can look, they can look quite good. Just for those little small places, sometimes you need a little tag. Okay. Right, I'm going to do up a few like that and then I'll come back with them done. Okay, they're done, except for little stickers and things. So you get all your little stickers that you got. It might be too small for other projects. Um, I got these and I've cut this one apart, that big one apart, like I said I was going to. And I'm going to use some of that. If I can find, yes, here we are. So little stamps as well. If you've got, you know, some little stamps, you do get little stamps sometimes with some of your packs. So they're ideal. Um, sorry, I'm just going to... The bottom, there's got straight bottom, so I'm going to come up from the top, from the bottom rather. Like that. Okay, let's just straighten that bit up there. Okay, it's just a little something. Okay. So we're getting a little collection together. If you look now, so someone there. Yeah, and those are the off cuts. Let me cut off there. There we go. So I'm not sure whether you can see over. Sorry, over here. I can see it over here. It's I can't see anything past here. But what I notice when I edit, I, you can see all this along here. So it's it's very strange. I have really have to got to get used to it. I'll get there. Okay. So it's like I need to come right over here. Which are miles. I've got about six inches the other side of me. I have to move my arm a little bit. Right. Okay. So that's that little batch done. And then we'll move on to something else. Well, same thing, but different papers or something so I mean that's what I do I'll just do a batch but these will go so nicely with my journal and that's what I'm I'm actually sort of going by yeah you can see and I think that looks pretty good okay okay right so what I need next is 
for my journal. I might as well carry on with the theme is some tuck spots. Okay, so yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> it's definitely a mess. So I'll pick a page and I'll just sort of get... Actually, I know that's smaller, but that might give me an idea. Okay. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't reach the other end. No, actually, let's have a look. Um, there. A tuck spot there. Okay. So I am going to measure it. That's about there. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit over because it can trim it. Okay, that'll make a little tag, that'll make a pocket, but I'm going to rip like that. So we have two. So one going that way, one going that way. I'll decorate that. Okay. And we'll have that as well. Can't leave that out, can we? Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, I've been out of view there. Quite simple this again but I quite like it when I see that poking through there so I'm going to stick that on it's not strong enough to make a double pocket if it was then you can do that I'll just get that right there should have done that first Oops. That scissors. And then let's do something here. Um, I want to tick it or something. Let's have a look. of these I think Stomach's gonna rumble in a minute. <laughs> oh, I don't think I've got any on there now. That's going to go there. And that there.
be awkward getting it there with the camera because <laughs> I would have got in the way there we go. <laughs> and then I can re-glue that down okay I'm gonna do the other one not sure whether to put something down here but I'm, I'm not I quite like that actually I quite like the texture so I think I'll leave it Right, so that was that one, nice and quick. And, I'll, you know, I'm going to stitch around it, of course. This one, I'm going to do the same. Bit of paper, okay. Right, I'm going to go and stitch around mine. And just ink up this one. Totally different colour palette for me, isn't it? <laughs> really is. Okay. Okay, done for now. I most probably when it's in the journal, I might put a little flower here or something. Okay, but they're done. Right, put them in my little bag. And then I'm going to oh, do this one up, definitely. And then I thought out of another piece, I would do a little, little booklet. But wherever it is. Anyway, I'll find it in a minute. Let's just do this. Um, oh, I've got to use that bit up. Fancy a bit of that in there. I keep going for those red tickets. <laughs> All but fits there. Actually, let's have a look. So I don't like the straight edge, so. I'm going to cover it, <laughs> as you do. Put a paper in the bin. <laughs> Really was. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, a little bit of stamping, I think, on that one. Or I wonder if that will work. Hold on. Let's try it first. Put that away over there. Let's try and back it up. 
ticket. That's fine. It's good. That just gives a bit of texture there. I haven't used that for ages. I just, um, I think I, I heat it. It's funky foam and you heat it up and then you press it. You can either press a stamp on it or this was an embossing folder, I think. And then I used to use it to do my pages instead of stenciling. But I haven't done it for ages because guess what? I forgot all about it until I was looking for a stamp and I saw it. Well, I'm liking that. That's nice and simple. And a bit of stitching. But like I say, it doesn't, that on its own, doesn't need stitching, to be honest. Looking all right. I actually might leave it like it is. Let's just put a grommet in the top or a hole for now. I've got these threads here. That might look quite nice. when you split your fabric up and then you get all them left over and I think they can look quite nice okay there we go and another one so we've got to do now is a little booklet and then I'll go through what we've made all right where's the other piece of card then I'll take one of these so I'll use that one, the green one this time. So I haven't used that one. I just thought fold it in half and I'm going to make a little booklet from that. Okay, and tea stain the pages there. So I'll just tea stain that with spritz. And like that. That is um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink in there, watered down loads, about 10 to 1. Okay, and then get that dry, and we'll make a little booklet. Okay, that's all dry. That is fine for now, because I'm going to work on here. Um, I'm just wondering, yeah, that green is putting me off a little bit there so I'm gonna go that way okay um let's have a look I want to fancy some jute oh should we have a put let's have a look well that might do actually yeah and then I'm gonna sort of do something like that yeah, I am I am but it's going to be a pocket oh. right where is it I put my glue there hiding away so oh, not that bit stick that there I don't mind that stuck at the back. Right, I'm going to stitch around that first and then we'll see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, it's done. So I'm going to put one of these coming down from the top. Yeah, and ink it up. And I think that's all right. And I cut the tags in the front and then some papers. So I'll just take something. I'm going to just take some of them out a minute. All right, let's see if we can have, find one that, oh, that might look quite nice. Needs a bit of ink in though, because it's quite white, that one. Yeah, oh, that one's quite nice. Now I'm going to go with that. Oh, I've had these for so long. Just keep staring at me. Unless something else it keeps staring at me. <laughs> yeah, I must use it. I must use them. Of course, I keep blooming designing things and then using them. And they're still staring at me. So out they come today. something over there actually coming up from that way Just might be lucky no too big <laughs> I thought oh I like that let's have a look no I do like that and I'm going to cut it off if I can there get that join in there that looks massive isn't it that one so that's fine just like that. <laughs> oh, I love that one. I might put that in the middle, in the centre. Yeah, I am, because I really like that. A bit of that, I think. Let's find some little pages to go in it. And then we'll put um, some tags in the front. Right, just some anything really. Anything. I haven't got anything ready, so excuse me. I'm hoping to find. Oh, no, see, I find a big bit. <laughs> oh, actually, some some of that can work. So you want little bits. Take that off. Might be too small, but that'll do nicely. I'm throwing that away. 
<laughs> Getting ruthless. <laughs> Um, right, come on, little bits of top. I actually, actually don't think I've got any little bits of coffee stain paper here. Right, I found some. Not much though, I must admit, I've been very good at using it. Unless I've got a bag somewhere. So I've just cut them to size now, so I know that's about right, because that's going to be stitched in there. Yep. Let's put that in between. There aren't very many in there, about three really. Um, that in. Okay. Yeah. Right. Just going to cut all that down together now because there's not much in there. So you can either hand stitch that in now. All right, I'm gonna just decorate a little bit. I'll get one of these stamps as well. stitch mine right down the middle if not you do your three hole pamphlet stitch here we go all stitched down I go up and then back down again okay and usually you have to just burnish a bit all right because it and then it'll lay flatter Let's pick some things to go in here. I might have that actually, because that's Tim Holtz, just an end bit. That I cut off. Oh, that might actually go in there. Sorry. I just um, I saw it lie in there and I thought, well, that'd make a nice little tag thing. I should do. There you go. <laughs> and I think. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can you? It's just perfect. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I just cut it down. So I thought, although I like that, I prefer it than square. So it was just sat here. Oh, that's around that corner as well. If you wanted it to write on the back, you either gesso it or put a bit of lime paper on. At the moment, that is going to sit there. So that, 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 and we need a bit of colour. Maybe not red, because I keep going for red, and I'm not doing red. <laughs> That's a bit big. Oh, a little tag here, but that's not colour, but I'm not doing too much colour, actually. Let's see. Well, I'll put that in there for now. Right, these are all little. I'm not saying I haven't got any, because I have, but 
This is where it is. <laughs> I expect one of these to do, but I've already used one. So. I'm in a mess. Really in a mess. Ooh. No colour, but I actually like that. So put a hole in this one. some of these because I can just have a little bit nice and thin Stomach is rumbling. <laughs> okay, all right, let's put a bit of washi tape in here. Let's add a bit of interest. And one little booklet. Okay, I don't know what that measures. It's not very big. But it's just one of those six by four fold in and half. So it's three by four. And if you want it, if it's not tucked in and you want it tied up, just do a bit of string again, very fine string or a bit of jute looks nice you know i think something like this is too heavy unless you cut it down so that is fine right so yeah mess <laughs> mess time so done that pockets which I could do with a flower or something that little tag so I just looked at that what I done with my butterfly kit and I think this is gonna go nicely so another one of those and I thought that would go nice as well I'll just stick that down there. And those are the ones. I've done four of those, didn't I? Two of those. One and that one. So I keep finding bits and putting it in my bag, so I don't lose it. Okay. that one that one's near enough identical but smaller because that one didn't fit in the two tags for those 
is the offcuts from the smaller tags. Two pockets made from a six by four. That was the offcut from, I can't remember. remember. One of these, wasn't it? I couldn't remember though. Which is there. And then the little booklet that was made from a six by four as well. Okay, there we go. I hope that's in frame. And I will see you soon. Okay, thanks for watching everybody and stay safe and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.